guys, Annie Heilbrand here in New Orleans at the Super Bowl. Right now, I'm at Radio Row. This is the place to be in the days leading up to the big game. I'm gonna give you a look around. Let's go check it out. All right, one of the cool things about Radio Row is you can walk it. Sort of like a red carpet kind of thing. Maybe not as glamorous, but you're gonna see throughout the day, this place is going to get hopping. It's gonna be much more crowded than it is right now. We're kind of in the hot spot right now. If you take a look around, you've got a whole bunch of radio stations right here. They're gonna be bringing in their talent throughout the day. Producers are gonna be hustling to grab former athletes, coaches, um, celebrities, talent. They're gonna be broadcasting them and you're gonna see them move from table to table and do interview after interview. Now right over here, You've got the first big set, this is CBS Sports, all decorated for Mardi Gras for New Orleans. And then something new, this used to be just radio stations, now it's TV stations too. So you'll see a whole bunch of TV stations setting up there and they'll do the same sort of thing. They just bring people in, do an interview, and then the athlete or the celebrity moves on to the next station or talent or whoever else wants an interview. Right here, the Mothership, NFL Network. So you've got a beautiful set. This is one of their many sets. They've obviously got a few here at the Super Bowl. You'll see over here, you've got Yahoo Sports. Um, you've got the Finsiders. So you've got all kinds of teams. You've got Fox Sports back there. Over here, you've got Sirius XM. And of course, you've got people just walking up and down. So this is one of those places where you kind of go to network too. Started off this morning at seven o'clock with Fox Sports for an hour, seeing the great LaDainian Thomason, hanging out with him and seeing Drew Brees and going to different radio stations and TV stations. And it's just a busy day. It's so much fun because you get to see a lot of guys that you played with, a lot of guys that are still playing in the league and just to be around. I mean, media role is phenomenal. If you look around, there's from hundreds and hundreds of radio stations and TV stations around and it's phenomenal. For me it's just exciting to be around you because I'm looking at you and you look like you're the sun, we're the planet, we all revolve around you. You're getting all the great interviews, you're all over the place. I mean watching you work the crowd and interview after interview, I mean I'm impressed. I'm a mover and a shaker, Loneal. No I'm a question. mover and a shaker, all right? It's pretty amazing. I mean, you can tell the vibe in this room. Uh, just there's a lot of energy. It's yeah. great anticipation and you know the love of, of the NFL is is pervasive, right? So it's it's really it's really fun. We'll hey. do a little hobnobbing here. Oh, nice! Look, you know what we're doing? <laughs> this is what we're doing right elbows. now. We're hobnobbing. We're all right, elbows. we're hobnobbing. You know, for me, it's kind of cool because I get to see people like you that I've talked to on Twitter and follow throughout the year, and it's kind of like a big reunion, I think, for us since I am a veteran. Um, there's a lot of people that I've worked with over the years and um, known throughout my career, so it's kind of a big coming together of people I don't get to see all year long, and then we get to see everybody here on Radio Row. You are so busy here at Radio Row, you can't even take off your headset and your glasses like you literally had to step out here do an interview and then jump back in right absolutely, absolutely. I got uh, two cell phones headset <laughs> uh, email so this is a constant uh, thing and actually it's my very first Super Bowl so this is a great experience for me though I'm, I'm excited to be here are right, you used to getting people in and out quickly what is this experience like like what kind of challenge does a Super Bowl possess well, you know, it's competitive. You got multiple networks everywhere. You know, people trying to grab people left and right. You see people walking that you might be familiar with or have a relationship with, but they're on a schedule. So that part is different of when you're trying to stop them and speak to them or maybe try to engage them in an interview. So that part's a little bit different, but it's exciting. Sports Talk 790 in Houston. Stations that come here, they um, you know only bring a couple shows. We actually brought an entire lineup. So we're live from 6A to 7 p.m. every day. Um, we brought 11 hosts with us. You got to have the right equipment. Uh, you got We got here on Sunday. I had to make sure the ISDN line was set up. Yeah, of course, it wasn't. So, technical problem right off the bat. What's it like being here amongst all these other radio stations, TV stations, people trying to get the athlete you're trying to get? That whole thing. It's cutthroat. I mean, you literally have to be a jerk, really. All right, as you guys can see, it's crazy here. It's fun, and hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get that interview. All right, that's it for me from Radio Row. I'm gonna go do some more hobnobbing. See you later. This Super Bowl segment brought to you by the San Diego County Toyota Dealers.